Alright, how you doing folks? It's your old pal Mike Kaylee 7 here. Coming to you live in September. The first video I made in a long time. Beautiful day in the neighborhood. Beautiful day. So let's see. Do I have a purpose for this video? In case anybody's wondering where I've been, not that anyone gives a crap. I've been teaching, doing the same old, same old. I've ridden a few times, not a whole lot, just a few. I haven't videoed though, I just rode. Just for the fun of it. Alright, let's see if I can remember how to get to work. I'm teaching again at night. As I have been doing for years and years. Every summer I have off. <coughs> well, not every summer, but th the past couple of summers I've had off. So I'm back at it again. I used to do a lot of my videoing in the morning because uh, I ride the bike to school in the morning but then something happened traffic got worse I don't know why it is so bad now but it really is bad uh, the last say mile Two miles before I get to my school, the traffic is all bumper to bumper, stop and go. And it's all these college students mixed in with workers trying to get to school and work. And they're mad and they're jostling for position, changing lanes, not paying attention, putting on their makeup and crap like that in the morning. And I'm not into that at all. Not on a motorcycle. It's bad enough getting rear-ended when you're in a car, but not on a bike. Not by a half-asleep student. No thanks. So I have elected to not ride in the morning for fear that it would, you know, be to my detriment. The afternoons are fine because everybody's coming the other way. And as you can see, there ain't no traffic, so. Alright, what's going on in the world, I guess? Should I talk about that? I don't know. Anybody care? Well, my opinion about what's going on in the world? I'll give you a couple of opinions. Just reviews of current events. Although I'm dating myself in this, but, um, let's see, Syria, you get the whole Syria situation, right? Why is this car doing like 30 miles an hour? I don't understand that. The speed almost 45. In my opinion, this guy is an idiot. Anyway, Syria. I don't think we should attack Syria, bomb Syria, whatever. And the reason I don't think we should do it is because no matter what we do, they're going to hate us anyway. And the world is going to hate us anyway. So why don't we just save some money and save some lives? And then they don't, we're, not, we're not killing people and having our own people killed. 
in order to have people hate us more. Screw it. The other reason is, it's their country. Let them do what they want in their country. Would we be happy if anybody had come into our civil war back in the 1800s? I don't think so. So screw it. Let them do what they're going to do. At least that's what I think. Man, this guy is just driving me crazy with this slow driving. Anything else going on? I'm getting a tattoo. I got a tattoo uh, on my right leg where the uh, where the damage was done in 2010. My big accident that changed my life. So uh, I'm gonna get another tattoo on my left leg. Perhaps I will do a video when the time comes to show it to you. If I can remember, I'll try to put other, I'll video my leg today, the, the one I've already done, in case anybody wants to see it. I'll video it or take a picture and post it in the, in the video somewhere. It's a pretty sky. I don't know, you probably can't make out the prettiness, but it's a pretty sky. So anyway, um, yeah, I want to get a an Irish cross, Celtic cross on my left leg with um, elements of my family crests worked into it. Very personal. It's something that uh, isn't temporary because tattoos aren't temporary, right? So. I'm not going to get like, you know, somebody's name, like, you know, a lover's name or something like that. A, a passing fancy. Nah, 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 nah. <laughs> and the other thing is, people say, well, you shouldn't tattoo your skin because you're ruining your skin. Well, you know what? Life is ruining my skin. I have scars. I have freckles. I have wrinkles. I have pock marks. I've got other scars from when my skin went bad and started to go precancerous on me, so screw it. I might as well damage the skin in a way that looks good to me. I don't care if it looks good to other people. So yeah, I'm getting another tattoo. Second tattoo. I've been watching a lot of those Tattoo Master, Tattoo Ink Master, Bad Tattoo, Tattoo Nightmares. And it's really educated me on good versus bad tattoos. Not that you can't just tell by looking at them if they're good or bad, but... Maybe much more demanding. That's the other news. I'm 43 now. Does that matter to anybody that I'm 43? Get old. I've got gray hair now. Somebody noticed it the other day, the guy I work with. He says, how old are you? I said, uh, 43. He says, boy, you're looking old. you got gray hair. Thanks. I'm not going to go color in my hair just yet, if ever. Uh, kind of believing in the whole natural thing, you know. If you're gonna go gray, go gray. I got, you know, I'm thickening out. But what do they call it? The, the middle age spread. Oh, I got that, man. Got that. Typical stuff that you have in your 40s. So uh, I guess I'll bid you a fair, uh, farewell, fond farewell for now, and I'll try to do another video on the way back if it's not too dark. I get out at 8, so I don't know. We'll see.
Alright folks, talk to you later.